right? Aces and stress, the more adverse childhood experiences you have, the higher stress you're going to get. Um, as we're looking at how and why. And so we're gonna look at um, Ace's effect on the brain. Um, Pictionary, now, this is simple. Again, there's um, videos. Um, there's Charadonary, this video is linked here, but again, this will take you to my other channel where I explain how to play these games, but real basic. Now, if you look in the activities files, um, there's pre-prepared cards with the key terms, but I like to get students to come up with the terms themselves uh, because it helps them recap the, the terminology they've already covered in the unit. Um, they can take their ACE score here, they can read more about ACEs. Again, ACEs are something that's very private and personal, so that's why I don't wanna do anything too publicly, but um, there is a link here where they can take their own ACE score. And I think it's important to tell them, everyone has, I mean, I have probably two or three ACEs. Uh, everyone has, most, 70% of people, I think, um, have at least one, you know, and if you think about, okay, your parents are divorced, well, that's more than 50% of and marriages end in divorce, so pretty hard chance, high chance you're gonna get that. Okay. Um, now in the activities files, there's information cards here about David Goggins. I originally wanted to choose um, Christina Aguilera or like a celebrity that the kids could relate to. Then I realized Aguilera is, they probably don't know who she is. Uh, and also I think David Goggins is a fantastic role model because when teaching this about ACEs, it can be pretty discouraging for students to think, man, I have all these childhood experiences that are beyond my control that are going to make me more vulnerable to stress and stress related illnesses. Goggins is a guy who can show you how by the way that you think and by taking control of his mind, um, uh, then you can uh, have you can change those and use those for fuel for a positive future. So I think he's a really good role model for students who have been through um, traumatic experiences as kids. Uh, okay, and so there's information there we can answer that and then get into the how and why. So this is, um, and I think this is a very valuable study and it can be used in multiple topics, the McCrory study, looking at kids with their, the, how their amygdala is more hyper-responsive with more ACEs. So I would take the time to make sure students understand this study. Uh, and then here's the chalk and talk where you can explain it. I'm citing fair use for the use of the images here. Um, okay, and that's question, how might ACEs influence stress? Really valuable stuff, not only for the exams, but also, um, for life as well and then it could also be linked back to the reappraisals right how do we reappraise and appraise our um, childhood experiences okay uh, this, this is a, a good video here as well goggins uh, it's pretty hard to find videos without him swearing um just so you know i think i did a, i think i found one there pretty sure i did uh, okay we're looking at social support that is in the next lesson